The Lives of a Cell, Notes of a Biology Watcher, by Lewis Thomas is a remarkable collection of essays that beautifully meld science, philosophy, and literature. Through his eloquent prose and keen observations, Thomas offers readers a profound exploration of the interconnectedness of life on Earth and the intricate workings of the natural world. Published in 1974, this book remains a timeless masterpiece, inviting readers to contemplate the marvels of biology and the broader implications of scientific inquiry. One of the central themes of the book is the idea of the unity of all living things. Thomas begins by examining the concept of cells as the basic building blocks of life. He delves into the intricate processes within a cell, highlighting the complexity of even the tiniest organisms. By doing so, he underscores the notion that all life forms, regardless of their size or complexity, share a common biological foundation. This perspective challenges the traditional hierarchy of life and encourages readers to view all species as equal contributors to the intricate web of life. In the essay, The Lives of a Cell, Thomas uses the example of a colony of social insects, such as ants or bees, to illustrate the concept of a superorganism. He suggests that these colonies can be viewed as single, collective organisms, with individual members acting as specialized cells. This perspective challenges our understanding of what constitutes an individual and reinforces the idea of interdependence in the natural world. Thomas's comparison of the behavior of ants to the functioning of human society also invites readers to reflect on the cooperative nature of life on Earth. Throughout the book, Thomas presents a holistic view of biology that transcends the narrow boundaries of scientific disciplines. He recognizes the interconnectedness of biology with other fields, such as literature, history, and philosophy. In The Attic of the Brain, he explores the idea that human consciousness and creativity are deeply rooted in our biological makeup. This perspective blurs the line between science and the humanities, suggesting that the study of biology can enrich our understanding of human culture and creativity. One of the most captivating aspects of Thomas's writing is his ability to infuse wonder and awe into the study of biology. He often uses poetic language to describe natural phenomena, making them accessible and engaging to readers from all walks of life. For instance, in The Long Habit, he describes the intricate dance of molecules in our bodies, turning a mundane biological process into a mesmerizing spectacle. By doing so, he reminds us that science can be a source of inspiration and wonder. Thomas also delves into the ethical and moral dimensions of biology. In The Medusa and the Snail, he discusses the implications of advances in medical technology and genetic engineering. He raises thought-provoking questions about the limits of human intervention in the natural world and the ethical responsibilities that come with scientific discovery. This essay serves as a reminder that the pursuit of knowledge in biology should be accompanied by a profound sense of ethical awareness and responsibility. The Lives of a Cell is not only a celebration of the intricacies of biology but also a meditation on the fragility of life. Thomas frequently reflects on the potential for ecological disaster and the impact of human activities on the environment. In The World's Biggest Membrane, he contemplates the delicate balance of the Earth's ecosystem and the consequences of disrupting it. His words serve as a cautionary tale, urging us to be stewards of the planet and to consider the long-term consequences of our actions. In conclusion, The Lives of a Cell, Notes of a Biology Watcher, by Lewis Thomas is a masterful work that bridges the gap between science and the humanities. Through lyrical prose and profound insights, Thomas invites readers to explore the interconnectedness of life, the unity of all living things, and the ethical implications of scientific discovery. 
This book remains a timeless gem that continues to inspire and educate readers about the wonders of the natural world and the importance of our role within it.